4 to the power of a minus 36 to the power of b is equal to 28. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the positive integer solution of a and b from this given equation. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Solution. Four to the power of a can be written as two square all raised to power a minus 36 to the power of b can be written as c square all raised to power b is equal to 28. Then remember this rule that a raised to power n to the power of m is equal to a raised to power m raised to power n. Then this can be written as 2 raised to the power a square minus 6 to the power of b square is equal to 28. Then if you look at this very well, this is different of 2 square. That is, if you have u square minus v square, this is equal to u plus v multiplied by u minus v and in this case u is equal to 2 to the power of a then v is equal to 6 to the power of b now let's substitute we have 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b multiplied by 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b is equal to 28. Now, since we are asked to find the positive integer solution, 28 is the same thing as 1 times 28. Then we have 2 multiplied by 14 and 4 multiply by 7 but from here we have 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b and 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b and that means 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b is greater than 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b now, and if you check this very well, 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b, this is even. And this 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b, this is also even. That means we are looking for the even number from here. Now, if you check this very well, 1 is odd and 28 is even. So, this is rejected. Then, if you look at this, 2 is even and 14 is even then this is accepted 4 is even and 7 is odd this is also rejected now we have 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b greater than 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b is equal to 2 multiplied by 14 and from this again the left hand side we know that this is greater than this so by comparing this is compared with this and this is compared with this because 14 is greater than 2 therefore we have 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b is equal to 14 let's call this equation one there are also two to the power of a minus six to the power of b is equal to two let's call this equation two now let's solve the two simultaneously by elimination method if you had equation one and two together this one will cancel this now if you had this we have two brackets two to the power of a is equal to 
14 plus 2, this is 16. Let's divide both sides by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. This one will cancel this, 2 here, 1, 2 here, 8. Then 2 to the power of A is equal to 8. Now 2 to the power of A is equal to 2 raised to power 3. They have the same base 2, therefore A is equal to 3. We've gotten the value of A. Then from equation 2, 2 raised to power A minus 6 raised to power B is equal to 2, we can solve for B. From equation 2, we have 2 raised to power A minus 6 raised to power B is equal to 2. Then A is 3. 2 raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power B is equal to 2. 2 raised to power 3 is 8 minus 6 to the power of B is equal to 2. Now, we have minus 6 to the power of B is equal to 2 minus 8 minus 6 to the power of B is equal to minus 6. Then 6 to the power of B is equal to 6 raised to the power 1. Therefore, B is equal to 1. Then that is the value of B. Therefore, our answer are A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 1. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. We have the given equation 4 raised to power A minus 36 raised to power B is equal to 28. Then A is equal to 3. B is equal to 1. This is 4 raised to power 3 minus 36 raised to power 1 must be equal to 28. And 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. And 36 to the power of 1 is equal to 36. Let's replace. We have 64 minus 36 must be equal to 28. And if you subtract very well, we have 64, 36. Therefore, 28 is equal to 28. We satisfy the given equation at A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 1. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.